Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, starting a new week of what I cooked for dinner. I am making my favorite, one of my favorite meals to make, the enchiladas. They are so easy and delicious. You should definitely give them a try. If you guys are enjoying these regular uploads of what I cooked for dinner, please let me know by sharing this video because a lot of work and time goes into editing these. But I hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and see what I made this week. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we're having the enchiladas. I absolutely love this recipe, like I mentioned, and then some of the Spanish rice that has some diced tomatoes in it with a little bit of melted cheddar on top, and this is our dinner tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, Grady is having a cheese, a cheddar cheese quesadilla. But he has a quesadilla. Yeah, that's your quesadilla, and a strawberry yogurt pouch. And strawberry yogurt. Yeah, a water. Water. And then some cherries. I'm obviously going to scoop some. some. Yeah, that's your water. And some cherries. Yep. Some cherries that I'm going to put in a little bowl right here on the side. Uh, I don't know, probably just a couple little scoops of these. And this is Grady's dinner tonight. Hey guys, tonight we're having some barbecue chicken. I'm using the, I used the Baja Citrus Marinade by McCormick. And this is what it came out looking like. Looks really good. Uh, and Matt, Matt's having two legs, some veggies that we did on the grill. There's broccoli sugar snap peas and tomatoes seasoned up, and then some good old craft mac and cheese. I'm having a thigh, I'm a little bit heavy on the veggies, and we actually have uh, some food left over for seconds or lunch for myself tomorrow, but this is our dinner tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, I made the stuffed zucchini boats. This is the sausage marinara sauce and cheese version. I have a video I did on the same concept, but with taco meat, like uh, ground turkey taco meat, but it's the same exact concept. So I'll link this down below, but the only difference is this one has ground sausage, marinara sauce, and cheese. It's almost like a sausage parm stuffed zucchini. And I made some of the Near East long grain and wild rice blend and then I just have some sliced up cucumbers with a little salt and pepper and balsamic vinegar glaze from Trader Joe's. It's really good. And this is dinner tonight. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Grady's having the Purdue brand um, fresh uh, chicken nuggets. So they're not the frozen ones. I hope that makes sense. Um, so there are four here and then two teeny tiny pieces of a crusty Italian bread. And then he's going to have a Mott's applesauce and a water and this is what he's having for dinner tonight. Hey guys, for dinner tonight we did some bagel breakfast sandwiches. This is a jalapeno cheese bagel and a regular cheese bagel with some fried egg and cheese, some bacon on the side. This is the black label bacon and then some hash brown casserole. And this is our dinner tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I was at my parents' house celebrating my brother's 30th birthday party. There were about 12 of us there, and I had some shrimp and pasta salad, potato salad. It was absolutely delicious. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, Grady's having four of the Purdue chicken nuggets. These, I think I mentioned earlier in the video, are the fresh, not frozen ones. Um, and I just baked them on a little baking sheet in the toaster oven and then two of these fresh um, cheddar pierogies, which is pretty much like a ravioli with potato in it and cheese, um, but he's having this tonight. And then one of the Mott's mango peach little apple sauces with some water. And this is his dinner tonight. Hey guys, so tonight is like my freebie night on my meal plan that I always leave open for either leftovers, breakfast for dinner, or like a freebie night. And since it's been such a crazy busy weekend, I'm filming this on Sunday. 
I actually dug in my freezer and I found some sauce, some marinara sauce that I had made and frozen. And I actually had put meatballs and sausage and I actually have another one that's frozen too. So and I did that back I think in June and it's August now. But anyways, I thawed it out. I just took it out of the freezer this morning, thawed it out. Um, and then heat it up in a saucepan. I've got my pasta going and then I made some um, little side salads. I have our bowls all set up um, and then I made some little side salads for me and Matt using some things from my mom's garden, some radishes uh, and cucumbers and then I just added, um, there's a bed of romaine and then I just added some tomatoes and chickpeas and red onion. Uh, and croutons and tonight we're gonna have uh, my favorite dressing of all time I have talked about this gosh it's been almost two years I think since the first time I started mentioning this because it's literally and you guys know I love me some ranch this is my all-time favorite salad dressing brand um, the brand is Planet Organics uh, it's actually a local to me company out of Troy New York and I absolutely love this stuff. I was hooked the first time I tried it. This is my favorite flavor, although I do love all of them. Um, and this is the raspberry oregano, and they are concentrated dressings and marinades. They're gluten-free, preservative-free, no added salt, and this one has 10 calories. Completely 100% not sponsored. I legit love this stuff. Again, I have been talking about this for about a year and a half now, on and off, and now that I'm back in New York, I got me some. So. This is what we're going to have tonight. I have a permanent discount code always in the description box um, that you can use if you want to order these because they ship all over the U.S. Sorry guys, the timer was going off and I had to take the pasta off. Anyways, quickly, again, raspberry oregano is my favorite. Um, there is coconut ginger, there is watermelon basil, and there is orange sage, which is, I've never tried the orange sage, um, but I love this watermelon one. Love this coconut ginger one. Again, that's my favorite. Um, so definitely check out their website, planetorganics.com. Um, I know a lot of people nowadays eat organic, and a lot of people are on a huge salad craze, um, and I'm pretty sure that you are going to love these just as much as me. But anyways, um, I'm going to plate this up, and I'll show you our dinner. Okay, guys, so here are our plates. We each have a sweet Italian sausage and a large beef meatball, again, that I froze in the sauce. I do have a video on my marinara sauce that I make at home. I'll link that down below. So my plate, Matt's plate, Grady's having um, just sauce, no meat. He is not a fan of sausage or meatballs, unfortunately. Um, I put some parm cheese on here. I got this container at uh, TJ Maxx, and I love it um, so much for storing cheese. And then once again, guys, here are our salads. I did put a little bit of the dressing on it. You have to check this out if you are a salad junkie like me because it is the most delicious, so unique, and flavorful dressing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's What's For Dinner video. If you would like me to continue doing these on a weekly basis like I have been trying to do, please share this video because they do take a lot of work, like I mentioned, and I really appreciate you guys sharing it to show me that you enjoy them so I can keep Keep putting in the effort and the work on filming them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video.